Well, two weeks to go before the California primary, and new poll numbers show Hillary Clinton has a sizable lead over Bernie Sanders. Meantime, Bill and Hillary Clinton are going all out against a very big rival, but their target isn't Bernie Sanders. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with the latest from the campaign trail. Hi, Dave. Hi. Bernie has pulled off some upsets, you know what I mean? Yeah. But this one would be a this would be huge yeah. actually if he was able to do this. Huge. The Clinton camp huge. <laughs> the Clinton campaign team has already moved on from the primary season and is focused almost entirely on Donald Trump, not Bernie Sanders. And a new poll out tonight may explain why that is. The new California presidential primary poll shows Hillary Clinton is pulling away from Senator Bernie Sanders, leading him by 57 to 39 percent, a margin of nearly 20 points among likely primary voters, perhaps a recognition of the inevitability that Clinton will win the Democratic nomination. Hillary Clinton's surrogate, former President Bill Clinton, told supporters in Stockton why she's the best choice. She got the best ideas. She's the only person with a record of breaking the partisan gridlock. We were excited in 2008. We were hoping that she would win, and we believe now is the time. I don't think that I want my commander in chief being a clown. <laughs> she was speaking of Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump, soon to be the party's nominee. But first, Clinton is still trying to put away Bernie Sanders, who, despite the dismal California poll numbers for him and the very steep climb to the nomination, is holding eight California rallies in four days, like this one in East L.A. What we are seeing here in California are hundreds of thousands of young people, Latinos, African Americans, registering to vote. Younger voters have been Sanders' secret weapon so far, and he has pulled upsets in Michigan and Oregon, where the polls showed he was trailing among likely voters by a wide margin. He inspired the younger voters to cast ballots the same strategy he's employing at rallies throughout the state. Instead of just pandering to liberal ideals or, or conservative ones. He's actually addressing what people are facing in their lives. Makes you believe anything is possible. In fact, a Sanders supporter in Oakland has now filed a lawsuit that would extend voter registration in California right up to primary day, June 7th. It became evident to me that people were confused as to whether or not they could vote for president. William Simpich charges state elections officials have not made it clear to independent voters that they can cast a ballot in the Democratic presidential primary. But they have to request a Democratic ballot to do that, not just write in the candidate's name on their independent ballot. Now, independent voters are important to Sanders, and if they don't vote or can't vote in the presidential primary, that's a problem for him. Because in that new California poll we told you about, uh, Sanders leads Clinton with independent voters by more than 50 percent. Clinton's strongholds include L.A., where she has a lead of almost 30 points. So this is a campaign where the voters are polarized not only by ideology, but geography. Yeah. All okay. right, Dave, thank you so much. Sure.